Hello, hello, are you there? Hi, I want to talk to you today about BMO Harris personal loan versus line of credit versus credit builder loan. Don't go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Story Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you are to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to speak to you about BMO Harris personal funding. So we are going to do a comparative analysis between the personal loan, the line of credit, and the credit builder loan. Let me give you the overview here. How do you apply for a BMO Harris loan? It really depends on a couple of things. First of all, and we recommend that you have a relationship with the bank. It's very important. And once you have that, you need to understand why you need the money, how much you need. Are you able to repay it back? This is very important. You want to do your research and ask the right questions. So what loan or line of credit options are available? What is the interest rate? What fees will I be charged, if any? Okay, and you can do this research either by going to a physical branch or by picking up the, the, the phone and calling their customer service. Okay, and you can ask questions also about the repayment terms, what repayment terms are available, what type of collateral is required, if any, what type of credit history is needed to be approved, and uh, what can you tell me about the, uh, the loan approval process. I'll give you as much info in today's conversation as possible, but it's always good to have the, the uh, information from the, the primary source, right? You want to contact the bank itself. So this is really important. You also want to, so you want to do your research and ask the right questions. You want to check your credit. Very important. I don't care if you have excellent credit or bad credit. You got to check your credit because the whole thing is, is to be unstoppable when you apply for a loan at BMO Harris you want to be approved right away right so but you got to do the, the some kind of research before you got to do your homework go to a website called uh, annualcreditreport.com you can get a free copy of your credit report and the credit score and you can get it from uh, the three major credit bureaus Experian, Equifax and TransUnion okay don't tell me that you have you don't have time it, it costs too much no it is free and if you want, you can also sign up for a service called, uh, you can go to Credit Karma. It is a platform that allows you to get a free copy of your credit report in, a, in exchange for your information. Same thing for Nerd Wallet, same thing for Wallet Hub. You have a, a constellation of players out there that offer that kind of service, this free credit score service. So once you do that, folks, I want you to figure out the total cost of your loan, including interest. Again, we try to make sure that you don't get a loan that you can't repay, right? It's all about liquidity. It's all about making sure you have enough cash inflows to be able to repay the loan because it, at the end of the day, it's all about cash inflows versus cash outflows, okay? So you want to really pay attention to that. And one thing I want to say also is that, and this is a big decision time for you. I want you to listen right now. Take some notes right now. Big decision time. If you're really interested in BMO Harris personal loans or a line of credit or a credit builder loan, you need to prepare the documents you will need to apply for this 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 loan or a line of credit. Okay, so you need identification. So you will want the government. You want to have some kind of a government issued ID like a driver's license or passport, because BMO Harris will want to verify your full name, address, phone number as part of your application, and you want to have your pay stubs with you your tax returns, and other documents as needed, okay? And you, how does the lending process work at BMO Harris? So once you have done your research and have your documents in order, it's time to apply for a loan or line of credit, right? So you can actually submit the documentation online. You can also walk to a branch and have a conversation with a live person, which is our recommendation. This is what you should be doing. Don't do it, don't do it online. If you do it online, you'll be taken care of by a, an algorithm. You don't want that. 
you want to you want to speak to uh, an indiv- uh, a person you want to have you want to show the person your pay stubs your tax returns you want to show them your personal financial statements you really want to have a conversation and they will they will be asking you why do you need the money so you can explain the loan proceeds the use of loan proceeds or the use of line proceeds is it for home improvement is it for a large purchase are you moving out of the the neighborhood are you uh, are you uh, planning a vacation whatever it is you want to have a conversation so that your application will be handled by a human you don't want an algorithm at bmo harris to take care of your your application okay you can also apply by phone if you are not in the vicinity of a physical brick and mortar branch you can pick up the phone and talk to someone okay and so when you speak to when you speak to the rep you need to explain to them whether you're looking for a an unsecured personal loan a personal line of credit or a credit builder loan now let's get into the details of those three funding programs let's first talk about the personal loan so the personal loan with uh, BMO Harris you can uh, get up to thirty five thousand dollars okay so they have all options that work with your lifestyle it could be 10 grand it could be 25 grand it can be 15 grand but the maximum is thirty five thousand dollars in some cases they can go more they can go um, beyond that but you need to have a strong relationship with the bank and you got to be they need to see your inflows over the last uh, five years to know exactly what you are capable of doing in terms of income okay and in terms of maturity you have one year to six years so 12 to 72 months and you can repay your balance anytime without charges or penalty fees so this is really good so what about the rates rates are as low as six point ninety four percent apr okay and uh the thing here is that you have to understand that bmo harris does not have a national coverage so they are available in um in certain states but one thing you need to make sure that you need to call a 1-800 number to be sure that you qualify so the number is one 340 1-888-340-2265 and again you can use the money for a lot of things okay you can use the personal loan for home improvement to consolidate your debt for the perfect wedding why not yeah for, for a new vehicle for medical expense for any big purchase okay so these are things you could do and when you're ready please visit a branch you get personalized help to help determine the amount of the amount and term that works best for your needs and you get approved and have your funds within days so those are really good and one thing you also want to do is you want to oh i forgot to add that there is a 75 dollar loan processing fee so you can repay your personal loan early with no penalty but there is a 75 dollar processing fee and the cool thing here is that if you also have a bmo harris account you have an an auto pay discount of 0.25 percent interest on uh, the interest rate so this is really good because this adds up 35,000 to 30,000 0.25 percent of this adds up okay and your approved funds will either be deposited into an account of your choice or you you will receive a check but again if you have an account with bmo it's a lot easier because they can just transfer the money to you right away let's talk about the line of credit so folks in today's conversation i'm doing a comparative analysis between bmo harris personal loan line of credit and credit builder loan so we have a, we have just uh, reviewed the personal loan let's talk about the line of credit so if you want a little extra money when you need it but you don't want to pay interest on what you don't use a personal line of credit gets the, it really helps you doing that because you are able to borrow the exact amount you need when you need it okay so here again you can actually uh, apply online or you can apply at a branch or you can even call and our preference is to apply at a branch but you can call the same number i just gave you earlier one 340 when it comes to the personal uh, line of credit the rates can go as low as 11.50 percent remember if you don't use the money they're not charging you okay and uh why do you need a personal line of credit from bmo this could be because you get the funds faster okay so what they do is they will work with you to make your application as simple as possible so you have the money within days 
you pay interest only on what you use okay the money that you borrow and the money that you borrow and use and you make no payments until you use your line and you can borrow again and again and again okay so when you pay down your credit line that money becomes available to borrow again okay so this is really this is really great and uh, one thing I want to say here is that again you want to make sure that you are in a state where Pimo Harris is the maximum line is uh, 35,000 35, and uh, you might qualify for 35 or 30 or 25 grand depending on your financial situation money 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 let's talk about what you can do with uh, a personal line of credit you can do a lot of stuff a personal line of credit is just cash you want to you want to have on the side just in case stuff happens right so you can use it to manage cash flows you can use it for educational expenses you can use it for the perfect wedding also why not you can use it to consolidate your debt if you are able to get a a, a great rate with bimo harris you can use it as an emergency fund and you can use it for home improvements it all depends on you and one thing you need to understand is that there is an annual fee of 25 dollars that is waived in the first year and there is no fee for paying off or closing the line of credit but there but there is a an annual fee of 25 dollars for maintaining this line of credit okay so those are this is really cool and one thing you need you need to understand also is that bimo harris will actually either wire the money to you or send you a check i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. We are still comparing BMO Harris personal loan, line of credit, and credit builder loan. Now, let's talk about the credit builder loan here, folks. So, if you have limited credit or no credit at all, BMO Harris will work with you to build credit. So, they actually have designed a program that makes it easy for you to make on time payments so you can build your credit rating in the process. And that is called a credit builder loan program. Okay. And uh, so, all you have to do, you have to open with as, as little as $1,000, okay? $1,000, it could be 10,000, depends on your financial situation, okay? And the cool thing here is that when the loan is paid off, you get the full amount of the certificate of deposit plus interest. So how does it work? You take out a loan to open a CD. So you open a loan that BMO Harris will use to fund a certificate of deposit account. And when you make timely payments, you help build a positive credit history, BMO Harris will report your transactional history, your payments to the three credit bureaus, okay? And then you get the improved credit and the cash at the end of the, of the period. So when the loan is repaid, you'll get the amount you invested plus interest. So this is really good. You can also uh, learn more about this uh, credit builder loan program by visiting a branch you can call the same number I gave you, one 340 and uh, you want to get personalized help to help determine the amount and term that works best for your needs, okay? And it's also really important to understand that when we talk about Credit Builder, how does the Credit Builder Loan Program work in actuality? Basically, this is a unique account specifically designed to help people build or establish credit. So one of the best ways to do that is to make on-time payments all the time. So with this program, you are given a fixed rate loan that is then used to open a CD for the same amount. So you don't have access to the money. You can choose the loan amount, minimum $1,000, and the term 24 to 60 months for a payment that works for you and that will not change. Okay, so those are, uh, th this is important. And in terms of seeing a boost in your credit score, you can start seeing a boost in your credit score within three to six months okay and uh what we love also is that bimo harris has uh, partnered with uh, a company called spring four and uh, so this is a financial well the uh, financial wellness company this is how they define themselves and they're helping you actually uh better your like improve your financial profile be more financially responsible so bimo harris has partnered with that company there is a 50 dollar loan processing fee for the credit builder loan there is no fee for paying off and closing the loan early but you have to pay this 50 dollars loan processing fee
Speaking of uh, Spring Four, the partner that uh, Bebo Harris has in terms of financial wellness, this is a great company. We have checked them out. They were really great. And uh, you might want to uh, check them out too. So this is a company that helps you find ways to achieve financial wellness, okay? And so this is, uh, they have a free online tool. It is free. They will locate resources that can help you cut costs and get your finances on track. So this is like a, a platform, an app that helps you that helps you budget your uh, your financial life, okay? And this is kind of cool because with when you have uh, a financially responsible life, a better credit score, you're able to reap the benefits in multiple ways. You can find a job, you can get financial guidance, you can pay less for utilities like heat, electricity, gas, and water because you are able to uh, move into uh, neighborhoods that are quote-unquote better. You can save money on child care, home repair, prescriptions, and more, especially if you have to borrow to cover those costs. Okay. And the Spring 4 actually claims that you can reduce your expenses by as much as $250 a month when you actually sign up for their platform. And so this is really something that you, for us, the platform has a, a lot of big claims. But when we started researching the platform, and given the fact that BMO Harris has partnered with them, that really gave us some confidence that this website is legit. Okay. And the thing here is that the tool is completely free, completely free. You don't have to pay for anything. And uh, what you do, what they do is they match users to financial health resources in their community. They are continuously verified and, and vetted. So if you have, let's say, they will match you with uh, organizations that provide assistance in up to 25 different areas, such as employment, high utility expenses, food, and prescription drug cost. okay? And uh, one thing I need to also explain here is that BMO Harris is collecting no referral fee and they don't charge or receive compensation for the referrals. And in limited cases, the listed agencies may charge processing fees okay so this is something that jim uh, bimo harris is just doing to help their borrowers to help their customers because they understand if they have a financially responsible customers if they have financially responsible uh, borrowers this is good for the bank's balance sheet also so here is the decision time which one to pick so in today's conversation we have actually uh, compared and contrasted three products personal loan from BMO Harris, a line of credit from BMO Harris, and a credit builder loan from BMO Harris. That's a big question, right? It really depends. The product that you pick depends on your situation, your financial situation. Are you currently scraping by? Are you currently uh, a wash in cash? What is your financial situation? Talk to me about that. What is your credit score? Because BMO Harris in terms of recommendation for credit score, they can go all the way to, uh, they can, the recommended band, the range they're asking for is 650 to 850. But if you have a credit score that goes all the way down to 550, but have a strong relationship with the bank, they will take you. What is your employment situation? Are you employed? And can you verify your employment? Okay. What is your pay? How much money are you making? And can you, again, verify that? Can you provide W-2s? Can you provide pay stubs? Can you provide um, 1099s? Can you provide your most recent tax return? Those are things that BMO Harris bankers will want to see first before, appro before approving uh, your loan. What is your family situation? This is really important also. Are you single? Are you married? Do you have kids? Because all those will have an impact on your budget will have an impact on your financial responsibility. In other words, uh, what are your expenses? Okay. And you also need to be clear about your BMO Harris NPR. The multi-product relationship that you have with BMO Harris must be clear. And here we are speaking about how many deposit accounts you open with BMO Harris. Because remember that for the loan and line of credit, they can actually mail you a check or they can send the money to another bank account. At another institution but isn't it better i think it's just a lot better to have an account with bimo harris that way they just transfer the money to you and they also love the fact that you are parking some of your cash with them okay so chances of approval will go high and also in choosing whether you should go for 
Ademo Harris personal loan, line of credit or credit builder loan. Your credit score will matter. I've already said that. So if you have poor credit or no credit, you want to go for the credit builder loan. But if you have great credit, you got to think about the urgency of the situation. So if a situation is urgent, then you want to go for a credit line, a line of credit. All right, folks, this is it for today's conversation. I was talking to you about BMO Harris personal loan versus line of credit versus credit builder loan. And I, I spoke to you a little bit. I gave you an overview. I talked to you about, I reviewed those three products. We talked about Spring 4, the partners, and uh, a lot of good things. Thank you so much for your attention. I'll speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.